A formed activist groups that took to the media, took to the wave to encourage the citizens to stay calm. They challenged the president of the day uh, for the atrocities that were being committed. They canvassed all the regional leaders to bring to their attention the malpractices that were ongoing in the country. And they formed a group to go to the Accra peace talks to be able to ensure that all of the leaders of warring factions sign the peace accord. And they did some non-conventional things to achieve that. Locking the warlords up and through, taking the keys and going around with it and lock them there until they, they agreed to sign. But you know, these were women in action and they were willing to take the risk dealing with men who were accustomed to violence and guns and whatnot. But as a result, we got a peace accord. But once we got back into three elections, into normalcy, what were we going to do for these women? The women who were the victims of war, the women who fed the nation when the men were not there and all the young boys had been conscripted into armed service. The rural women, the market women, were where we wanted to put emphasis. And as important as professional women were in the vote that was successful, but the women that bore the brunt of the war required special action. And the conditions under which they worked was so terrible that we had what we call a market women fund. I don't think the bank ever supported our market women fund. <laughs> Here, LA. I was not here. <laughs>